It's still early. Where to now? I wish you all a journey that is free of illness. Good time. <laughs> there is something you can help me with. According to my patient records, there are a few that haven't come for their follow-up visits. It happens from time to time, but never as regularly as this. <sighs> I'm a bit concerned. Have you heard of the Complex Illness Mutual Aid Society? <laughs> I agree. Generally speaking, mutual aid societies like these allow patients to share their experiences and support each other. It's a way of countering all the negative emotional effects of being ill. But there might be more to this society than that. I've got a few patients who have started refusing treatment since joining the society. It certainly makes you wonder. And the most suspicious part is that no matter how much I ask, no one's ever willing to tell me anything about it. And that's where you might be able to help. <laughs> that won't be necessary. But it will help if you pretend to be a patient. Help me investigate this so-called mutual aid society and find out exactly what they're up to. If I find out they're preventing me from doing my job or if they're bringing harm to my patients, I won't just sit on the sidelines. Can I entrust you with this task? <laughs> You're as considerate as always. This little clinic has huge numbers of patients to deal with every day. If I didn't have you here to help me out, I wouldn't be able to focus on giving them quality care. Good luck. I'll be sure to thank you properly when you're back. I wish you all a journey that is free of illness. I wish you all a journey that is free of illness. Oh, is everyone all right? Thanks for your help. <laughs> Sometimes face-to-face -face communication is more meaningful, don't you think? Now we just have to wait for the official news. I hope Branya doesn't keep us too long. Huh. Do you think Sparog and Clara felt the effects of our battle with the Guardian? I think they'll be fine. Plus, Svarog's devotion to Clara is even greater than his hostility to Wildfire. <laughs> if you're worried, you could look for them over at the robot settlement. Well, are you hurt? Let me take a look. Outsiders, for friends of Clara. How did you know that was Perkins? The, 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 thank you for rescuing Clara. Seems like Perkins picked up a stammer. Its language module must have malfunctioned. Can you take us to Clara? Outsiders are f friends of Clara. Follow me. You have 
visitors, Clara. Ah, oh, it's the variables. Are you trying to start another fight? There was a huge shaking just now coming up through the ground. Mr. Sparrow said it must have been... Recalculating. Conclusion. Engine of creation. 97.66% probability. The engine of creation was an immense construction machine created by the architects. It was not built to fight. Well, whatever. We won. Thanks to that giant robot, we were finally able to take care of the Stellaron. And Branya made a promise. The Underworld and the Overworld will soon be reunited. Which means that you, Svarog, um, you won't have to worry about preserving the Underworld for the time being. March, everyone, thank you so much. I wasn't sure you guys would be able to do it, but... But now, Mr. Svarog, what do you say? You guys said you were travelers from other worlds, right? I want to be just like you. One day, I'm gonna go traveling to faraway places and make new friends. Calculation result. Update. Mission number 0001. Preserve the underworld. Complete. That's our Branya! Quick as a flash! <laughs> she certainly moves a lot faster than some people I know. If you haven't got anything nice to say right now, zip it! Still early. Where to now? You made it. <laughs> I thought you were about to miss out on a moment of history. hard work, how could we miss out on the final celebration, right? <laughs> I don't know how much of a celebration we'll be having, <laughs> but I know Hook and Clara will be pleased to sit with you. <clears throat> For Oleg and I, not to mention the other adults, reopening the passageway means rediscovering old ways of living. Return to normality. <laughs> Survival is no longer the top of the agenda. But for the children who were born into this era, who grew up in this isolation, this will be a new life altogether. Once you've tasted freedom, it's difficult to accept a life of separation and isolation. Those of us whose childhoods were marred by tragedy we must strive to do better for the next generation. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Here I am talking your ear off again. <clears throat> this is a day to remember. 
We should welcome it with smiles. <sighs> if you have time, talk to the folks here. Every one of them will tell you about their excitement. And when you're ready, let's go home. Finally, I can get back to supervising the cable cars. I thought I'd spend the rest of my life in those mines. Ah, it's you, the liberators of the underworld. You're the first passengers we've had since being sealed off. <laughs> It'll be my honor to get you to the surface in one piece. Relax, relax. In all my 20 years on the job, there were only ever, uh, anyway, none of them were serious. <clears throat> So, ready to climb aboard? <laughs> no problem. This car won't be leaving without you. So, ready to climb aboard? No problem. So, ready to... Sisters, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, gather round! The cable car passenger service is about to restart! Whoa! <laughs> Look at the big blue ceiling! <laughs> That's not a ceiling, Hook. That's the sky. <laughs> So this is... the overworld? The air here smells... different. <laughs> Less rust and geomara particles floating around. Take a deep breath, children. This is what freedom tastes like. I never thought I'd live to see the administrative district again. All those years. We've been through a lot, Natasha. <sighs> You're right, Oleg. <laughs> it's funny. The moment I boarded the cable car, my mind was filled with everything I wanted to do on the surface. But now, I just want to sit down, zone out, and watch the people coming and going. And let the day just pass me by. <laughs> Enjoy the peace and quiet, Natasha. We earned it. Huh, it's Jepard! So early. Is he here to meet us? Where to now? He's still on duty. Huh. <laughs> he must have recovered quickly. Let's go say hi! Thank you. 